Hawk fans, once again, we welcome you to another edition of Take 5 here on St. Joseph's All Access. It's our weekly sit-down with an SJU student-athlete. The month of May now upon us, which means the Atlantic 10 Women's Rowing Championships are vast approaching at this point. And since theme weeks uh, have been, what else, but a theme for us lately, we figured we'd sit down, preview the race with senior captain Brittany Roth of the women's rowing team, who's our guest this week. Welcome. Hi, Matt. How are Hi. you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Very Thank you for joining good. us. Yes, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> we'll get right down to it. Defending Atlantic 10 rowing champions, mm -hmm. uh, Hawk women. Yeah. What's it going to be like at this point going into the race? Uh, a, a little bit different, I guess, this year. Mm -hmm. Having the bullseye on your back, being uh, the hunted rather than the hunter. Yeah. Um, as you said, we do have the targets on our back, and uh, it's going to be tough for us to go in here while all the other teams have that fuel to go out and get us. But uh, we're going to take that fuel, just defending champs. Uh, you know, we're going to try to uh, capital on that, capital on that win last year, and go for it and win again this year. Feeling the pressure? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Senior captain, yes, feeling the pressure. But I think our team's got it, definitely. I, thought, I think you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you seem confident to me. I am confident. Last year, you're part of that second uh, varsity eight boat yeah. that ends up winning the gold medal at the Dadville Regatta. Give me a feel for what that was like oh when, when, when you crossed the finish line. What, what kind of feeling was that after all that work you put in? I don't think there's like any words to describe that feeling. Um, adrenaline rush as soon as we were down the whole entire race and as soon as we crossed that line ahead it was just I wanted to jump out and I uh, wanted to hug the girl in front of me Ariana and we were just it was it's something that you can never take away you know you'll always remember that moment and uh, you know Davios is the March Madness of collegiate rowing so it's just something that I'll always remember just a hug right you didn't tackle anybody <laughs> no. in the water or anything no, no, like no. that <laughs> Safe hug. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about when you got involved in the sport. Mm -hmm. When when did you first get on the water, and what got you involved? What what I guess was the driving force behind it? Um, I actually joined my sophomore year of college with no previous rowing. Wow. So uh, it's been tough uh, learning, especially the girls have been doing it for eight years now, and me only with uh, three years experience. But um, I don't know what kind of got me. I think I just I've done sports. Uh, all through high school and you know they had an ad out in SJU so me and my roommate were like why not <laughs> something different favorite sport in yeah. high school uh basketball definitely what'd you play Love basketball um I was a small forward okay no no outside range no couldn't, couldn't hit the three I can't shoot at all <laughs> please not at, me <laughs> at, at least you're honest <laughs> yeah defense is fine now as a rower you spend a lot of time uh, out on the water obviously mm -hmm. um does that mean that when it when it comes down to it, when summer vacation rolls around, you're not necessarily a beach person, or are you a beach person? Yeah, well, I'm definitely a beach person, but, I mean, being around the Schuylkill for that long, eh, it's kind of uh, sketchy. Um, but I'm definitely a beach person. It doesn't kind of shy me away from the beach at all. We'll give you a little scenario. Season's all over. Mm -hmm. You can spend basically anywhere you like at a particular vacation spot, just any destination. Where, where are you headed? Where are you going to go? Well... I'm going to Florida with a lot of the senior girls this uh, summer, so I guess Florida. Where, where about in Florida? Uh, Orlando. Orlando was yep. just was just there. Really? About, yeah, oh, about, a, cool. about a week ago. Yeah, Disney World. Uh, probably not too expensive. You know, you know uh, well, I guess Universal's <laughs> out of the question. Yeah. Too. All right. Uh, we used to be doing uh, our rapid fire segment, but we're mm -hmm. going to go back to our typical fifth wild card question. Okay. This this is one uh, that we've asked before. You're in a boat. Uh, your the race is happening, and uh, you get to the end, and mm -hmm. uh, you find out that your your boat's about to sink mm -hmm. at this point, and you you have to basically ditch one person <laughs> in your boat. Who are you tossing <laughs> overboard? Who's going overboard? Oh my God, um, Taylor probably. She's a freshman on our team. What's her last name? Um, Taylor Bethesda. I can't really say it, Bethesda, but um, she's a freshman on our team, and she is the most. Ditsiest, it's the nicest way possible, <laughs> but if she goes in that water, she'll freak out. So probably Taylor, definitely. All right. Yeah. So she's going overboard. Yes, without well, a doubt. <laughs> well, you've stayed afloat for this edition of Take mm -hmm. 5. We congratulate you, and we wish you the best of luck in Thank the Atlantic you. 10 Women's Rowing Championships. You. You're welcome. That's Brittany Roth, senior captain of the Atlantic 10 St. Joseph's Hawks, defending Atlantic 10 champions of women's rowing. They'll try and defend that title coming up next week on Take 5 is our 50th anniversary. It'll be our 50th episode, not necessarily our 50th anniversary, but 
50th episode, so 50th guest. It'll be a special one. We invite you to tune in, as always, Hawk fans, for another edition of Take 5, St. Joseph's All Access. For Brittany Roth, I'm Matt Martucci. See you next week.